investigation, three out of four Canadian train conductors admitted to having fallen asleep on the job. One of them has agreed to speak to us on the condition of anonymity. Thank you, I appreciate it. You can understand why I don't want to be identified, right? Well, yeah, you've fallen asleep while conducting a train. A lot of people find that shocking, sir. Really? That's shocking? You're shocked that I fell asleep? I mean, come on, sitting in a driver's seat of a train, it's kind of like being carried in the palm of a steel giant, and each whistle is just a hush-hush to all who might wake his mini man-child. Sir, that hardly justifies... God, it's a train! Think about it, it's on tracks, going one way, I hit and go, my job is done. And it's not like I can yank the steer wheel and head off to a parking lot to rip a few donuts if I get sleepy. So I just sneak a 10-minute power nap every now and then, no big. But what if you hit a moose? Huh, hey, train hits a moose, guess what? Train wins. Okay, so what's the solution? Well, first of all, I shouldn't be out here talking. That's what, look, I'm sorry, I really am worried I'm gonna get recognized here. You can't see my face, can you? No, sir. Well, just to be safe, could you lower the lights maybe a little more? Okay, can we lower the lights? Thank, thank mm -hmm. you, I really appreciate it. And I know you're disguising my voice, but just to really throw people off, if you could just also play some, you know, beautiful ocean sounds. Do we have any ocean sounds we could pipe in? There you go. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, I, I, feel, I feel safer now. Good. So do you think it's fair to say that there's an epidemic of exhaustion amongst conductors? <sighs> Up. Oi, where are we? How many moose they kill? Never mind. Go back to sleep. Pal, I'm way ahead of you.